Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I thought we could do some Europe and display the Europe map by Mappa. I will link it in the description down below if you want to join in. I just thought I'd give it a go. I think Europe is probably my best continent and I see a lot of people, especially on Reddit and especially on Battle Royale as well, the new game mode, a lot of people are struggling in Europe. So I thought I'd give some top tips that I have when I play the Europe map. Okay, so the game mode I'm going to do is no moving, so let's go. Okay, so first thought is France, automatically, just based off of the general architecture. We have the language to confirm that. Um, this kind of architecture just generally reminds me it's, it's kind of British, but not, if you get what I mean. These poles are also very common in France and we have the EU number plates on the back so we know um, white plates as well so we know it's not the UK. So I'm going to go for France, I'm going to go northern France, probably around here to Hedge. Okay, it was actually near Nancy or um, closer to the German border but still we got the country right. Okay, so next we have quite a, a nice camera, we have language here. It looks kind of German to me, so we could very well be in Austria or even Switzerland. It definitely does look German to me, but uh, we we know it's not Switzerland based on the car or, or the camera on the car. So in Switzerland, the camera will be a lot further down. The camera itself is actually really, really nice quality. So I think I'm going to go for Germany. Uh, no, not Germany, Austria. <laughs> Um, probably near the Alps. Uh, we'll go somewhere down here. Okay, so it wasn't actually in the Alps. It was right in Austria, but still we got the country right. Okay, next we have some short dashed lines. We can just look at the general architecture. It reminds me very much of Scandinavia. We have this blue sign, which uh, seems to me very Swedish. We also have the A with two dots on top very Swedish language so that's what I'm going to go for. Okay so it was actually further north in Sweden but we still got the country right. Okay next we have some yellow road signs, uh, quite a Mediterranean feel to the country. I'm automatically thinking Greece. Um, I can't quite read that but I'm still thinking Greece with this one. We have this little religious statue here which i i don't know enough about these to 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 tell you about them but i know that greece is a very religious country so i think we're gonna go for greece here okay so it was actually right near the turkish border which i wasn't expecting but still we got the country right okay lastly on this round we have an urban location we have yellow back plates and also yellow front plates. Uh, we'll just look, kind of look around and see what we find. We have a flag on top of here. I don't recognise it. So in terms of uh, which country I think this is, I know that the Netherlands also has yellow on the front and yellow on the back, but I do believe we are in Luxembourg. Uh, just due to the fact that there is, I think, quite a lot of French around and obviously Dutch don't speak French. So I'm going to go for Luxembourg here. This very well could be Luxembourg City. I mean, Luxembourg City is um, pretty small. So we'll just go here. I'm just going to try and see if I can 5k it. Probably not. Um, it looks like a, a main square or something. I can't quite see a main square, but... I'm just going to guess here and, oh no, maybe here. Could it be here? Eh. Mm. We'll go here. Okay, not quite the 5k, very, very close, but we got a 4998 and that completes our country streak of five. Hopefully that gave you a few tips and helpful information uh, to guessing in Europe. If you'd like to see more of these, please do let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.